Hello everybody, um, this is Pearly Prepare from Numb, and I am here today with the game Ultimate Wolf Simulator. And this game is super fun. The developer of this game is Gluten Free Games. And, oh look, there's Tyrion in my den. So, um, this right here is my main wolf, Avalanche. He's my alpha. And then this lovely she-wolf next to me is my Flamestorm. She's white. Her name is Flamestorm. And though this guy is uh, Darkford, his name is Avalanche. And so, today I'm not going to be showing you these wolves. I'm going to be starting from scratch so that you can actually see how to start the game. And see what you can defeat, what you can't, and just how to hunt and do all the um, essential things without taking the tutorial. So, right here in the save games, you press the empty slot. Right here, it'll take me to the customization menu, where you can customize your own wolf. So, this one right here is going to be female. And, I'm going to give her this... Oh yeah, so that you can do tinting also, but that's that usually doesn't work out very well. So I'm going to give her this normal wolf coat. Actually, yeah, and her name will be Luna. Okay, so we're done. Now, to get out of this menu right here, you just tap your little wolf head in the corner. So to move, you use this joystick. And to look with the camera, you just move the screen with your finger. This is growl. This is howl. This button is jump. This is sprint. And the sprint takes down your energy bar, which is the yellow one at the top. It's gradually going down. The green is your food bar. The blue is your thirst. And the red is your health. So if you go up to an animal that will fight you back, the health bar starts going on as they hit you. Here's a boar. Just like that. So it was a very simple game. If you've ever gotten games from Gluten Free before, they are um they do almost every single animal as a simulator, it seems like. Alright, so some prey you can carry back to your den if you like. And some prey you can and um, just pick up in your mouth, and some you can drag, but only for about three seconds, and then the air seems to wrench your prey out of your wolf's jaws and into the air, and so you must eat again. And so, so these three little dots by the number one in the diamond are how many times you can munch on your prey. So if there's one dot and it's a mouse, you can only bite down once and the mouse will sink into the ground and decompose. But um, for bigger prey, like that boar or like this, these bears right here, if you attack those and win, then... Whoa! Then you can eat three times. And so... Here is a rival wolf pack. Do not let them see you. They're not friendly, obviously. Okay, so there is tons of different territory. Okay, um, just so you know, that thing that just came out of the air right there. Oh, yes, and you can't move or bite or growl or howl or jump when you're in the bar. Look, all you can do is walk around. These logs, they come out of the sky randomly. And they just roll around. They will not hurt you. You can make them roll and things like that. So, right here, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what each one of these tabs is. Right now, I'm on the information tab, right here, with the three lines and the three dots. And it tells what rank I'm at. There are different ranks as you level up. Right now, I'm only level one. My other wolf is level five. It's still not good. But, just bear with me, I just got the game. <laughs> also, this, these points to add, vitality, strength, dexterity, and intelligence. One I always go for first is intelligence. I don't remember what it does, but each one of these increases one of the percentages on your dodge, defense, speed, critical hit, attack, 
so on. And, but not your level. And the XP is gained when you eat, drink, hunt, eat, or eat, I already said that, sleep, bond, and you're down, which is just like howling together. And, yeah. And so, the next one is this like triangle thing. Um, you can add points to the two, effect and duration, but you have to unlock all of these. So, Mark of the Bat, Mark of the Dragon, Mark of the Rhino, Mark of the Fox, Mark of the Wolf. And then in Howls, there are different. So, whenever you growl, you will initiate this power. And it does special things to you, and it benefits you. These two crossed swords are the skills. So, you can have... You can lick your wounds, which means heal them. You can <clears throat> have a vicious lunge, which is a chargeable attack, or locate your nearest enemy. And you can up these also. The next one is the wolf column. You can customize your wolf anytime you'd like <clears throat> with the <clears throat> dark black fur, white snow fur, the um, dark gray wolf, and the more russet colored wolf. And as you level up, you can unlock different wolf skins. The next one is the map region. Where the water is, is where you cannot go. Those are the boundaries of this, this island. And the skulls are bosses. The X's are where to mark your territory, which also earns XP. And the food things that look like turkey legs are where carrion is placed throughout the world. And that is a tunnel that looks like a rock. It's a tunnel to the ice place. That's the only way you can get in. The next one is the information column. You can put tiny little chests that give you uh, wolf facts, which is where the animal facts go. And it tells you all about the general things, the controls, the upgrades, the bonding, breeding, and others. The next one is achievements. You can feed an animal, feed 25, 50, so on. And it just recommends other apps for you. The Stray Cat Simulator is one of the best, by far, the gluten-free games has made. Besides this one. And settings, you can change what your camera does. Free, which is, you can walk around and see your wolf's face. Which, but it is harder to fight with this. DOV, which means that you can be Become the wolf yourself and walk around and walked, which is how I had it, which just gets your wolf's back and tail and yes. The blood, if you turn it on, if you kill an animal or the animal kills you, it's just a splash of red on the ground. And then if you turn it off, then there is not. And for shadow, if you turn the shadow on, everything gets a little bit darker, but it is a bit more glitchy, so I usually have the shadow off. See how my fur is kind of, yeah, when I walk. It's much better with the shadow off. And the saved games are the game of your apple wolf. And, yeah. You can also lower the volume of the sound effects. No sound effects. Sound effects. And so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on Ultimate Wolf Simulator. I will be back probably in another video soon. Thank you very much.